And while U.S. stocks are hitting records, so are India's and Argentina's. And U.S. Junk, junk bond prices are also high and rising. And it isn't just risky investments that are up. So are the prices of conservative U.S. Treasury bonds. Call it the investor's dilemma. Everything is expensive. Wall Street Journal columnist E.S. Browning joins Moneybeat now. Mr. Browning, thank you so much for joining us. Steve, good to be here. So, Jim, you have a great column here looking at how everything is expensive across the world. Can you get a bargain anywhere these days? Uh, it's pretty hard to find something that's cheap. If something is cheap, it, it's probably got some huge defect. And even things that have gotten knocked down, like social media stocks and uh, junk bonds and biotechnology stocks are all on the rebound and, and are getting back close to the highs that they hit before they got knocked down. So there's really a very widespread demand for assets right now. And that widespread demand is interesting because it's good and bad, right? Yeah, I mean, the, the bad part is that with everything so expensive, you run the risk that everything could decline if there's a drop in confidence or some sudden change in the investment climate. But the good news is that uh, things are getting spread around fairly widely, which was not really the case in past uh, periods of excess. Yeah, and, and when you're talking about those past if periods of excess. In the 1990s, in the late 1990s, there was a, a huge mania for Exactly. For, back in the 90s, you had the, uh, the, the, the dot-com bubble and everyone was just piling into tech stocks. But that rally, that bubble was so concentrated in such a specific part of the market and you have the exact opposite playing, playing out right now. Yeah, and the same was true before the financial crisis where you had a, a huge uh, run into housing and uh, mortgages and, and risky loans. That was another area where there was a huge concentration of assets. Now it's very widespread, including a lot of money in very conservative treasury bonds, which indicates that you don't have the same speculative fever now that you have had in the past. So you call this the investor's dilemma. What is an investor to do in this current environment? Well, it, it's a, a tough choice. If you want to be really conservative, you have to go for something like uh, a, an increased cash exposure because um, if you go almost anywhere else, uh, it's expensive. Some people are recommending treasury bonds. And one reason the treasury bonds are up is that uh, in most scenarios, if everything else goes down, treasury bonds hold their value. But it's a significant problem where to go. And, and the other recommendation that people are making is that you try to diversify and, and just get a very broad spread of assets, which clearly is what the market is doing. It's the Investor's Dilemma. Jim Browning, thank you so much for joining us. You bet.